Thanks for watching this video. I am Sijish. This video I will explain how to add multiple namespaces to existing Hadoop cluster. So this is my cluster and uh, the version stack if you go to the stack and version you can see the version is 3.00 and my Ambari version is 2.700. And I already enabled the name node high availability here. So you can see standby name node and active name node. So here I'm going to add one more namespace. But before that we will check what is the, our namespace ID. So you can see HDFS DFS df h So this is the namespace ID and it's mounted our slash file system. If I use HDFS DFS ls and this name followed by slash under slash we have uh, this much data or this much directories mounted so unlike previous version so this version provides a feature called adding new namespace or okay so if go to the hdfs go to the action then add new namespace click that okay so you have to write new name service ID. So I already have one ID, so which is training uh, name HA. So let me write, you can write any name. So let me write it to training name uh, HA2. Okay. Or, uh, or test name HA or whatever the name. Okay, so let me do second name HA. Some other name I am given, okay. Then you have to give the additional name node. Okay, so you need two name node because if with so the first two are already existing one, so active and standby. Similarly, for the another namespace, you need two more servers. So we have got work node three and node four here. Okay, so the same server you cannot use. Okay, master one and master two you cannot use for this one that's why it's not showing also this one you cannot change so once you have selected that click next so it's saying okay so master 4 and master 3 it will be installed additional name node what is the journal node directory so let me write the journal node directories as the journal 2 okay so this is the additional directory which it's going to use or going to create so once that is done click next so there are a lot of steps involved then the stopping the services reconfiguring and all so we'll have to wait some time till this finish So now this wizard has completed just click the complete button okay so this require uh, okay so the restart is not required so now you can see that see two part the second name node HA and the training name node name HA okay so these are the two namespaces and what are the active and standby name node in that or zookeeper failover controller and all those details you can get so <coughs> go back to the command prompt if you just use this okay it's uh, showing only one name space and uh, let let me check with the second name ha and what are the contents HDFS colon slash slash yeah and uh, so this one you will see so let let's verify like both are pointing to the same so let me switch to HDFS user then 
HDFS DFS hyphen MKDIR slash user slash test DIR and now HDFS DFS hyphen LS slash user yes test DIR is here and uh, by using this one HDFS DFS hyphen LS second name HA okay so that is uh, something different so by default it's uh, writing here to this namespace but this namespace it's not writing so you can you should use uh, sorry yeah you should use uh, HDFS command separately okay like uh, HDFS DFS hyphen MKDIR so second name HA then XYZ whatever it may be You can see that directly but here so this is different okay so you got two namespace so both are working independently and both are providing separate namespace so we have got two namespace here okay. so similarly I think we have option to add more namespaces here so this that's it about the configuration so hope you like the content and please do subscribe if you like the content so i'll be keep uploading lot more contents over time thank you bye